Hi, this is Ashley Livesey with Compass Insurance Group. If you or someone you know is of Medicare aged, you need to be prepared for some changes coming to Medicare this fall. The first thing to know is that with the passing of the Inflation Reduction Act, there were several key components that were positive changes for seniors. The first thing that they did was eliminated the donut hole or the coverage gap, which is where seniors or Medicare beneficiaries would fall into a 25% coinsurance instead of paying a copay for their medications. So they eliminated the donut hole. They capped insulin costs at $35 a month. They have created a prescription payment plan where you can pay your prescriptions off over a certain uh, period of time instead of having to pay upfront all at once. And they also capped your out-of-pocket expenses at $2,000 a year. Now, those are all great changes, but what does that mean? That means that the insurance companies feel they are going to lose out on some money because of those changes. Because those changes were made and they're all positive changes, but what didn't happen is that those changes weren't funded by CMS. So the insurance companies are seeing that as a financial loss. And instead of eating away, or eating all that cost rather, they're gonna pass that cost on to you as the Medicare beneficiary. So what can you expect with those changes? The first thing you can expect is if you have a standalone Part D plan, your premium's going up. Um, if you're in a $0 plan right now, I hope it still exists next year, but I doubt your $0 plan will exist next year. Premiums are gonna go up, co-pays are gonna go up, medications are gonna be shifted around into different tiers. Um, something that was a tier one medication might go up to a tier two, which now has a higher copay. Um, right now, this is all speculative because they haven't officially announced as, a, as insurance companies what each plan's going to do, but this is pr a pretty good educated guess of what we can expect. So Part D, standalone, your premium is going to go up, your copays are going to go up, your medications are going to be shifted around into higher, more expensive copays. If you're in a Medicare Advantage plan, you have a little bit of cushion built into that plan with all those extra benefits that they give you. We expect that those plans are going to do everything they can to not pass costs on to you on the medical or the prescription side, but they're going to have to make some changes somewhere. We are guessing that what's going to have to happen is they're going to reduce some of those extra benefits though. So your over-the-counter benefits, dental benefits, vision, um, grocery benefits, those are probably all going to look different in some way. Now again, we don't know exactly what those changes are going to be, but you will be one of the first people notified of how those changes are going to affect you and your plan in 2025. So by October the 1st, your plan has to let you know what your plan will look like in 2025 by sending you your annual notice of change or your ANOC. It is extremely important that you read through that letter that they send you, again, your ANOC, read through it, understand it, and if everything that you're reading about your plan for next year looks fine, there's nothing you need to do. They will automatically renew your plan on January the 1st. If you read through that and you're thinking, mm, pump the brakes, this is not what I signed up for, I wanna see if there's something else out there that works better for what I need, that's where we come in. Call Compass Insurance Group, we will take a look at your medications, we will talk through what's important to you and help you find a plan that works best for your needs, whether it's a standalone drug plan or a Medicare Advantage plan. Again, they have to let you know that by October the 1st, and open enrollment, the Medicare Annual Enrollment Period, or AEP, is when we can make those changes, and that's October 15th through December the 7th.